they are probably one of the most recognizable fossils in the world. But what are they? Trilobites were small crustacean-like creatures that first lived close to 540 million years ago. Trilobites closely resembled modern day pill bugs, AKA roly polies, and they once thrived in the prehistoric oceans of San Bernardino County. It is within this genera that scientists begin to see early evidence of common characteristics found in today's insects. They belong to a phylum or group of related animals called arthropoda, which includes insects, spiders, and crustaceans. So what makes an arthropod an arthropod? Like I mentioned, a trilobite is an arthropod, but what does that mean? Arthropoda includes wasps, spiders, millipedes, crabs, butterflies, hermit crabs, flies, scorpions, ants, bees, and of course, trilobites. It's full of creatures that look like they have nothing in common. So how could all these different creatures be related to one another? Well, it's because they share a few major characteristics like jointed limbs. This is actually what the name arthropod is derived from and it translates to jointed feet. You can see here how these, this spider clearly has joints on all eight of its limbs. Arthropods also have segmented bodies. This means their bodies can be divided into segments or sections. In the case of this ant, the segments are the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. They also have paired appendages, which refers to the pairing of legs. In this centipede, you will notice how each of the segments have a leg and a partner leg on the opposite side. They exhibit bilateral symmetry in which the body plan can be divided down the middle and there's a right and left side are mirror images of each other. Probably the most noticeable characteristic of arthropods are their external skeletons or exoskeletons. This is a hard, rigid covering, usually made out of chitin, that provides both support and protection. It is also what makes that characteristic crunch sound when you accidentally step on a cockroach or swat a fly. Another characteristic shared by arthropods is an open circulatory system, which allows blood, or its equivalent in the case of insects, is hemolith, to flow freely within the body and it douses all of the essential organs. This is different from closed circulatory systems like humans have because in our systems, blood is contained in vessels or our veins and our veins transport blood and other nutrients to our in essential organs. So let's examine what makes a trilobite an arthropod. Why is a trilobite an arthropod? Well, it has jointed limbs, like the spider. They also have segmented bodies. In the case of the trilobite, it's the cephalon, thorax, and pygidium. They have paired appendages. They also exhibit bilateral symmetry. Notice how if I would cut the trilobite down the middle, I would have two mirror images of each other. They also had exoskeletons. However, the trilobite had an exoskeleton made of chitin and calcium carbonate. And finally, thanks to the amazing preservation of fossils found in the Burgess, the Burgess Shale Lagerstatten, scientists were ab also able to discover that they also had early open circulatory systems. It is almost unbelievable to think that these little creatures that existed millions of years ago could have shared such strikingly similar characteristics with today's modern taxa. Even more astonishing is that during the time of the trilobites, scientists not only find early arthropods, but they also discovered the presence of almost all modern day phyla, meaning the earliest ancestors of every creature living today arose from these early species some 541 million years ago.